These are some Dinar Guru updates, starting off with Mark ZV uh, PDK. The calls out of Iraq have been phenomenal. A couple of sources there are re reaffirming that everything is finished on their side. They're waiting for the U.S. Treasury assistance to release. They have told me it could be any moment to a couple of weeks, but they expect it very soon. They stress that their end is done. Mountain Goat says, don't be discouraged. The currency reform and banking process has come a very long way in a short period of time since January 23, compared to waiting since 2011, when the plan originated with the IMF on how to turn the currency back on. So we went 11 years with not much progress, then suddenly a huge jump, which tells us something is up. This alone is all telling. If Iraq is to progress, as they say is their goal, they will need a globally recognized and traded currency once again and get it very soon. Rayren98 says, so some agreements were met last night. Let's see where that takes us for later today. All right, we've got BGG with an article, quote, the Iraq government is currently weighing the question of changing the currency th so that the official cost of the U.S. dollar would be $1.32 uh, Iraqi dinars instead of thirteen twenty. Instead of, I'm sorry, implementing such a decision is likely to significantly increase al-Sudani's popularity. BGG says the article was published yesterday and he's referring to the 13th, and it, BGG says he is suspicious of its veracity and its timing. It always seems to get tossed around during election season. Furthermore, how they decide to get it from 1320 to 1 to 1.32 to 1 is another story entirely. Everyone will get all excited when in reality, even if this is a legit move, it could still go 20 different ways. All right, baby's mom says the dinar rate of a dollar thirty-two is what they are hoping will come out in Iraq. Our our rate will be better. Mark Z via PDK question: Anyone heard anything about Iraq going by itself? Not all countries. Mark Z says a person in our community had an interesting conversation. He has a personal relationship with a banker. Uh, quote, met for dinner with a banking executive. The banker told me about the basket, or the first round is going to be only the Iraqi dinar and the Iranian real. He said those countries are gold-backed and their internal banking systems are more set up, more so than the others are. The dong should be ready to exchange by late fall. He did not know about the shotgun start, said it will be easier to roll them out piecemeal. Mark Z says, I take it uh, as a very good sign. It's encouraging to hear an active conversation about it and that it's going very soon. I'm still hearing the majority of the currencies will be going all at once, but it's best to be prepared. Question, if Iraq and Iran go first and alone, I wonder, will the currency still be allowed to float? Mark Z says, I would assume yes. I believe all currencies will be allowed to float after this because of the underlying asset values. Tishwash has an article, quote, Parliamentary Finance. We look forward to coordinating with the central bank to increase the value of the dinar and control the market. All right, Militiaman says, if they adjust the exchange rate and delete the zeros, who's going to need the dollar when they apply the new real effective exchange rate to it? Militia man says nobody is going to need the dollar because the dinar is going to be stronger than the dollar. And that's my opinion. We're in a situation where a political crisis or surprises could change the exchange rate, and that could come within hours. Mark Z via PDK says, if any of you are questioning if this is ever going to happen, I want to give you some reassurance. Here we are at uh, Thursday. And this was from yesterday, and this is the second time this week directly from the Iraqi parliament. It's a quote, parliamentary finance and CBI discuss increasing the dinar and controlling the market. Mark Z says, in other words, they need to remove restrictions on the banks and increase the value. That is how they control the market. They're still openly talking about it again. 
And lastly, we have Mountain Goat saying, there are many who want to force the reinstatement, which is like me telling you that on March 19th, first day of spring, suddenly overnight, everything will change and we will have spring. But we all know it doesn't work this way. And so we must make this logical an uh, analogy uh, slash comparison to our investment, the RV. Just like Mother Nature has a plan for spring, the CBI too has a plan and it takes time to execute it.